Hello, I'm Faligan, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create a custom pop-up menu. To begin with, we need to first create the menu. So let's go into our preferences, go under custom UI, and click on create new menu. Now this is grayed out right now, so to get that to be actually clickable, let's go into config, turn on enable customize, and now we're gonna click on create new menu, and we'll just call this, I don't know, cool new menu for now. So now you can see at the top of the screen here, we have a cool new menu, and we wanna start adding stuff to this. So let's go ahead and dock this over on the side of our screen. Let's go ahead and add some brushes to this menu. So let's grab our brush menu next and click and drag this and we'll dock it over on the right side of our screen. I use the move brush quite a lot, so let's put that over there. I'm gonna hold Control and Alt and click and drag the move brush and plop that right in there. All right, so we got our move brush. Let's see, what else do I use a lot? I use the clay tubes brush a lot, so I'll click and drag and I'll put that over there too. And I don't know, maybe one more. I like the cube tubes brush. I use that quite often. I'll drop that in there as well. So now we're starting to get a few things in here. Keep in mind that when you're control alt clicking and dragging items from a menu into another, if you don't do this from the direct menu, it will remove that item from the UI. So everything that's kind of docked on my screen here, if I were to click and drag this and move this in here, it would actually remove it from this menu completely. And if I were to click and drag that onto the canvas, it would delete that object from the, the custom UI that I have set up here. Uh, similarly, if we drag that from here, it'll remove it as well. All right, let's get rid of the brush menu from here. I'm just gonna dump that off to the side. Let's look at my custom menu for some ideas. A lot of these options are actually located in Tool Geometry Modified Topology. I really like the mirror and weld function, so maybe we can click and grab that one and plop that over there, maybe do a little bit of a better job of slapping that in there. And I really like the delete hidden function, the weld, uh, weld points function is pretty good. You can grab a few of these. Uh, if you guys wanna grab some of the stuff here, I'll leave this on screen so that you guys can pause the video or take a screenshot. Like I said, a lot of these are down here in the Modify Topology option. Some of them are in the Polygroups menu. Some of them are located under Merge. Uh, there's, there's a bunch of different stuff in here. But again, I'll just leave that on screen for a second for you guys. So let's say we're finished making our custom cool new menu at this point. So let's just undock that from the side. We can even close this. And the next thing we wanna do is go into our Preferences, turn off Enable Customize. We have to do this to set a custom hotkey. And then we're just gonna close all this. We don't really need this anymore. And the next thing we're gonna do is again, hold Control and Alt and click on our menu. When we do this, ZBrush will ask us to press any key combination to set a hotkey. I'll do that really quick. It's telling me that a hotkey already exists. That's fine, I'll just click okay. And then I'll press that hotkey again and it will open up that menu for me. You can do this with menus. You can do this with any object in the ZBrush user interface. If I want to do that for this expose button down here, I can hold Control and Alt and click, and I'll just do a new hotkey here, and then I'll press that hotkey, and voila, we have exposed our, our beautiful little boy here. <laughs> so now that we have our custom menu created and popping up on screen, we want to save this and store our configuration. So the first thing we'll do is go into Preferences, Hotkeys, and you want to store or save your hotkeys, uh, or both, I typically do both. And then for your config, you wanna store your config and probably save out your UI so you have a backup. And then after you're done with that, the next time you close ZBrush and open it back up, you will have your cool new menu and you'll be able to pop that up on screen whenever you press that hotkey. If you guys found this video helpful, check out gumroad.com slash polygon for more awesome content. I have courses on there ranging from absolute beginner to more advanced. And I also have my custom UI, brushes, materials, base meshes, all sorts of goodies that I know you will love. Again, hope you guys found the video helpful and I will see you in the next one or in my next live stream.